Yes, family, we're inside our sister Erna house here in Prom Prom, outside of uh, Accra, right by Tema. And this is definitely the cultural African house. small for me, so I had him to come in. This window here was right here. I had him to come in and knock out the window and knock out the wall and put the window out and build it in and make my kitchen a little bit larger. The guy who found the land for me, he is the one that also uh, did the cabinets and he did the, the staircases and he did the door, the wooden door over here and uh, like I said, all of my cabinets. <laughs> and the staircase again. Wow. Now, is there someone local that does the stained glass? Or you have uh, the same one? Oh, no, the stained glass was here in the country already when I, when I came in. And they had a lot of different stained glasses, but I wanted to have kind of a tropical feel, so I just got them to have a lot of that. And I was really hesitant about putting up any bars up to the up to the windows and to the doors. I come from Detroit, and we don't have no. bars up to our windows and doors and everything, but... I had a young man that was working for me, and he, I left, that was before I moved here. I left, and I left him here. He was staying in the um, house out here as a watchman, mm -hmm. and I come back. He had broken into the house and stole about $3,000 worth of linen, and they said, well, we told you to put up some bars. So I came back and had the bars put up. So this is... I'll give you a little bit of tour. This is my wooden door that I had made. Oh, uh, let me look up, look up at their ceiling. Uh, where you see the Adinkra symbols up here, they're throughout the house. And I wanted to have some uh, recessed lights. And when I told them I wanted recessed lights, they didn't know what I was talking about, but they put the holes, but they put them too close. They were supposed to be in each one of the corners. So when I come and I saw that they were all so close to the main switch, it stayed like that a hole up there for about uh, about two years and then a friend of mine came over and said, why do you have those holes up there in the ceiling? I said, because I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I want to do something with them. And then one day I told him, oh, you know, I would like to have some Adinkra symbols up there. Mm -hmm. And I left and left him with my keys and when I come back, I walked in the house and I looked up and there were Adinkra symbols. I don't know how he did them. He had somebody to come, but what I did was I told him the symbols that I wanted to have. I showed him and then they just put them up. Uh, some guy who's a mason did them. And the door over here I had it made at the local timber market that also has some of the, uh, the, the Adinkra symbols on it as well. I'm going to let you take a brief look at my room and better, nobody better not go back and talk about my house. <laughs> that woman was a junkie woman. You better not go back and talk. I promise. No, uh, promise. Promise. No, no, promise. Okay, all right. <laughs> this was the garage. Okay. This was the garage. Oh, this is good. <laughs> and I just decided there was no need to be wasting the garage. At the time, nothing was out here, and I could look right out at the ocean. So. Uh, okay. I never had this many men in my bedroom. Uh, <laughs> this is nice. So be careful, be careful, okay. So, like I said, this was a garage, and um, I just decided I wanted to turn it into my bedroom. So, uh, that's what I did. I, I didn't want to use this space, garage space, wow. when it was facing, facing the ocean. So, wow. I took it and, um, and before Jerry called me earlier today, I was just laying here on the bed, and then when he called me, he said, oh, uh, they're about halfway here, and so I said, okay, let me hop up and get a shower and get on some clothes, so this is it. And the guy who made the wicker furniture again did, uh, it had a headboard, but unfortunately he didn't treat it, and so the headboard's got uh, termites in it, so that's another thing that you have to look out for. Uh, when you come. You have to look out for termites, make sure everything get really uh, treated for the termites. Mm -hmm. So you have two entrances to your... Yes. Oh, that's yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I have something here that I'm sure you all don't have in, in, in the stage yet. I just bought it from this Chinese guy. I have to show it to you. Let me see. Can't wait. I was so surprised. Has, does, has anyone had a lamp, a, a light like this? No. Okay, watch, watch. I'm really impressed. <laughs> okay, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. All right, show out now. Let me see. <laughs> okay, I know what's going on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got a remote control around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I got the remote control right here. Right here. I know you all don't have this in America. <laughs> wow, I'm trying to show off now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, music it plays for my phone. Oh, for the light bulb? Yes. Um, I was just playing it last night. Yeah, now you have to buy the singles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, go ahead. South Africa. They had this in Detroit for about three thousand dollars. When I went to South Africa, there was an artist there who did this um, out of Malachite, and uh, and he sold it to me for five hundred dollars. Wow! Three thousand in Detroit. At wow. the store that they, these are called um, passports. They came from the Ivory Coast. And traditionally, I was told that they used to use yeah, these as a uh, of recognition. And this, how many of you know what this is? Oh, Do I know what this is? Egyptian. Egyptian. Yes, yes. yes, it is Egyptian. And it's called the weighing of the heart. It it's okay. What it tells us, it shows here, here's yeah, a feather yeah. and here's a heart. Oh. And if your heart, once you die, if your heart is as light as a feather, then you're going to the good place. Oh. But if it's mm. not, sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what 